Hey guys, this is Wendy from Wendy's Eating Show and I'm laughing because I'm like, damn, they can't even see me with this huge pile of food <laughs> in front of me. That was, oh, I'm laughing at myself, but I want you guys to be able to see like the whole shebang. So <laughs> these are called, these are very similar to the surf and turf fries I had, but I kind of already tasted the sauce and it is different, but the whole concept carne asada fries with shrimp so yeah that is what i have going on right here and i decided to put it on a plate because when they when i usually when i'm when i'm usually eating out of the foam plate you guys can't really see because it's like covering it up so i was like this time i gotta put it on a plate and i got my chile toreado right here and i made my own guacamole i i didn't like had a tomato or onion so it's just plain guacamole just mashed up and um although the carne asada fries already have um i think pico de gallo or just tomato and cilantro oh no yeah yeah i see onion right here so perfect it's gonna combine with my guacamole and i got me an horchata because <clears throat> horchatas man you could never you just can't pass by horchata or jamaica Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> and I also got my carrots that I really, really love. So <clears throat> I'm gonna put some like on the side. And um, I oh, smells like tostilocos because I have like um, pepino. I got carrots. So I'm just gonna put some right here. And yes, I always wash my hands because believe it or not, there will be some people that think like. Oh my gosh, she's grabbing the food with her finger. She didn't wash her hands. Trust me. <laughs> and then I also got some radish. Which I never got, but I was like, I never get. I'm all making it up pretty. You guys can't even see what's behind here. You guys can't even see what's going on. So let me just give it a little twirl. 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 See? Look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys can't even tell that it's like a, a what did I say? Some carne asada fries, huh? And this is the famous plate you guys thought was like <laughs> floating. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize. You guys, I don't even realize nothing on my videos until you guys pointed out. Like, somebody was like, what is this? Like some witchcraft? <laughs> I was laughing my butt out, but I was like, no, you guys. It was just a coincidence that... My stand is red and my sweater was red at the time. So, anyways, let's get started and you guys get the first bite. So, on these, they have um, cheese, um, sour cream, pico de gallo, carne asada. Oh, and I'll just get a little bit of guacamole. So, open. You know you want it. Come on. <laughs> Sometimes the chile toreados are just like out of this world that you can't even eat them. And we got a good one. <laughs> so we're safe. I really, really like um, the chile toreados with the carne asada fries. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh. Today I told my dad about the um where are you trying to go <laughs> about what happened to my mom. Apparently my mom did not tell him. I'm like, oh my gosh, you do not know what happened to my mom. I'm like, no. I told him, oh my gosh, he couldn't he couldn't stop laughing. Mmm. He thought it was so hilarious. Mm. I 
and actually one of my um I'll call you guys friends <laughs> although you guys look like in a different country different continent like <clears throat> I call you guys my friends so one of my friends um Angie <clears throat> um she pointed out that and I also thought about this she said that maybe when I left because like I was in there like for two hours like I told you guys and I was like I'm out of here so when I left they probably assumed that my mom had gotten out and we left right and when I read her comment I was like yeah I thought about that too <laughs> it's just crazy and I was reading the comments and you guys also told me that it has happened to you guys but That story is going to be like a story f to tell like every, <laughs> every Thanksgiving dinner from now on. I don't know. I kind of want to tell like a scary story, but um, I have little, 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 little friends that watch me, and I don't want to scare them. Hmm. Mm. Oh, that's kind of. Well, no, I'll tell this one. So, I was going to be like, so here in California, but it's everywhere. Mm. I'm pretty sure everybody has heard or seen or been to a water park, right? Like a theme water park. And I remember when we were smaller, we all went, me, my mom, my brother. Oh, it was only us three. We went and um, I remember that you had to go. You had to get like a little inflatable wheel um thing to ride on the slides because you had to like go some oh I don't know how many feet up on the slides to like slide down and I remember that who was it. I remember that I did not want to go because I was like so afraid and my brother was the one who really really wanted to go but he had to go with my mom and so I was waiting for them at the bottom and like when you go down the slide and at the end there's like a little pool so that way you like after you like so you don't have like a hard landing you know so excuse me like instead of like pure land it's like a pool at the end. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Ooh, that was kind of spicy, that part. <clears throat> so I remember when my I saw my mom and my brother. That was spicy. Oh my gosh. I saw them coming. And when they touched down on the pool, the little floaty thing, like, or was it like a little boat? Somewhere in the line, in those lines. The point is that the little inflatable thing flipped and... At that time, we still hadn't had our swimming lessons because my mom did um 
Probably that's what made her take us to the swimming classes. Ah, I'm going to ask her. So at that time, my brother, he was really small. He didn't know how to swim. None of us. And so they flipped. And they started drowning. They started drowning. And... I don't know how long it took for the lifeguard to take them out because they were coughing so much. They had inhaled a lot of water. And I can't really, really remember like all the details. Mm -hmm. But like I'm kind of... <laughs> A little tear wants to fall. But I do remember that they were like, oh my, are you okay? Are you okay, ma'am? Like, and my brother too. And I remember they gave them, they gave my mom and my brother a pill. <clears throat> a pill to um, take. I don't know what was the pill for. They made them take a pill. I don't know if it was like to to make them relax or to like <laughs> make them like spill the water. Like I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> but they gave them that. Uh. I'm trying to remember what else. <laughs> I don't know if after that we left or we like stayed there, but like nobody really got on like <laughs> the slides anymore. Mm. But. I don't know. Do you guys have any like stories like that? Have you guys ever drowned or? Or something related to like water. Mm. Take a big bite. I guess they're so easily. <laughs> but. I guess that was my. My mom's drowning story. Poor mom. <laughs> mm. I have so many stories about my mom. <laughs> Since that was a really small one. I have like another small one too. Like one time when we went, to, <laughs> when we went to like um, a restaurant to eat, they had like balloons up in the ceiling so you can like with long strings. Well, not well, not long, long, but like um, not short either. So like regular, <laughs> how could I put this? Like people who were like five feet and up could easily grab, and people who are, I mean. Five, five, five feet five. They could easily grab, but if you were under, you have you kind of had like <laughs> some difficulty. So my mom is like five three, five four. I honestly don't know. <laughs> and I remember my brother really wanted a balloon. And, um, oh my gosh, this was, I, I don't know, at that time, at that time, you know, kids, we sometimes feel like embarrassed. <laughs> and my mom was like, 
jumping like i don't know how many times she was like jumping trying to reach the balloon i was so embarrassed but at the same time i couldn't control myself i couldn't control my laughter i was laughing so so hard because there was like other kids around that also wanted the balloon and like my mom was determined to get that balloon she was like mm -mm -mm -mm, you're not gonna get it and so my mom was jumping and jumping and she could not reach the balloon mm. <laughs> i was like oh my god But my brother really wanted it. And the the guys, the little kid's father that wanted the balloon also, like, he had to step in and he actually reached for the balloon and gave it to my mom. That was so sweet. But his kids wanted it too, so. Oh my gosh, you guys. Just imagine... A chubby lady. <laughs> mm. And I remember the restaurant was like in the corner and it had clear windows. So imagine if you just like um, looked inside the <laughs> restaurant and you just saw this lady like jumping up and down trying to reach for something up in the ceiling. <sighs> My mom. <clears throat> Well, oh, the guy stepped in when he saw that my mom was, like, reach, like gonna go grab in a chair and, like, <laughs> climb on it and grab it. But the guy was tossed, But he had his fun. He had his fun watching my mom jumping up and down for that balloon that his kids wanted us as well. <laughs> mm. Good old times. I guess a mother would do anything for their babies. Mm -mm. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go to shout out. Oh, shout out. Of the day and. <laughs> This person's YouTube username is Sam Lub. It, whoa, you guys heard that? That's why I don't get a microphone because I make all kinds of noises. That nope. Oh yeah, so Sam Lub L U B twenty says, Wendy, can I get a shout out? Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. <laughs> Smiley face. We are homies from San Diego. Laugh out loud. Um, there you go. Your shout out. <laughs> and um. <laughs> I don't know. That was a cute, simple comment. And if you want to be comment of the day, all you have to do is comment down below. And you could be next. So don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to Wendy's Eating Show. Oh my gosh, my hair looks so crazy. And let me know a crazy story your mom has done for you as a kid or as a grown-up. Embarrassing, whatever, or a pool situation. I want to hear it. So yeah. Bye. You want to say bye, baby?